Alright guys, Rollit here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. This time I'm just going to be showing you guys how to fade in um, certain elements of sound, certain elements of, you know, your production, everything. So, first of all I'm just going to actually show you the, the effect, but I can't show you right off the bat, but I will show you how to do it. So, first of all I basically have, um, I'll let you listen to the intro because that's where we're going to be doing it. So, I have a, a flute here and then I have the chords. So the chords are going to come in and I want the flute to play slowly come up instead of just hit, you know, as soon as the fourth bar is done. So let's listen and I'll show you. Okay, so I want that flute to, yeah, fade in. So we're going to just drag out here by hitting shift um, and clicking and dragging it across. And we're going to go to that sound in the mixer. So that's this sound here. Now, um, we're just going to get rid of this EQ here. And what we're going to do is, once this is in the mixer, if you don't know how to send it to the mixer, you basically just go to where it is in the channel. Um, like here. Sorry. Like here. And then click on it and hit control L on this control L once you're in here and it will send it to a free mixer track or um, or you can just click it here um, so the green box is selected and then right click and insert and then route to this route to this channel I think <clears throat> route select the channels to this track yeah and that will route it there so um, yeah, let's just get get on with it. So first of all, we're going to put an EQ on the flute sound. Now we already have one. This is an unfinished project, so I won't be messing with it too much. But yeah, I do need this for the project. So we're going to go here, open up a parametric EQ um, on the flute that we're going to be fading in. And then once that's done, we're going to go to the top right here where these two arrows are. And we're going to right click them. Now if this box didn't show up, I apologize, it's OBS, but I'm gonna click these two, right click these two and go to the 40 hertz and 18 hertz cut. Um, and once that's done you'll see this, well you'll see the cuts here, and we'll be able to drag these um, these things up and down to fit what we want. So Okay, so we can do it either way. Um, what we're going to need to do here, you'll see these are represented by these marks here. So each band is represented by this bit. So I'm going to right click on this. Again, right click on the bands here. Right click and there will be an option that says create automation clip. Now I'm going to do it for the low frequency band. I'm going to go here and then I'm going to just create automation clip. Now once that's done, we're going to go to the playlist where the flute is and we're just going to basically edit this clip to make it fade in. So first of all, we're just going to drag it up like this. And we'll hear that obviously that doesn't do anything because it's not the right one. So we're going to pull up, pull this down. So hopefully now, yeah, it's not playing. That's what we want. So we're going to play everything else on solo that. Now, sorry, I, I'm sorry if this wasn't clear, but um, the way I'm doing these little things is I'm right clicking on the part I want. This is set to a 4 beat as well, so, well, a bar. Um, and we're going to right click here, just, you know, move it about. That will create a notch and you'll be able to control it that way. So, um, yeah. Kind of make it so that it comes down so it kind of fades in like we were wanting the effect to do. And then just for the video sake, we're going to pull up here so it kind of fades out again and then it will, and then we can just drag it, by, drag it back down by right clicking again and then just pulling this down here. Very simple. I feel it's a bit so. I want to hear it at the very start so we're just going to pull it down a little bit more.
Yeah, it goes up too sharp, so we're gonna do it like that. Now as you'll see, I've done this for the, ma the main frequency band as well, so um, it's probably a tutorial for another video, but it's kind of, it's basically just the same effect on the master, the same master, and then this will basically do it for everything, so. Yeah, and that should be it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you thought. If there's anything you're still needing to know, please let me know so I can help you guys out and make the best content possible for you. Um, with that being said, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.